All right. Yeah. I think I can take the question here from Wolf. So again, if we go back to this slide, negative gamma doesn't mean that the price is going to drop. It means that the price will be more volatile. So it could also be that, that you will see big swings throughout the day. But it doesn't mean that because we are in negative gamma that the market is going to drop. It just means that the volatility will be higher. So yes, you that, that's how you need to read it. And as a trader, volatility is your currency. So you want to be positioned so that you can capitalize on those moves. Basically, that's the idea. And I would also be, I, 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 was, I was talking with someone also about this when we're speaking about positive gamma and negative gamma. So we have to really clear about thinking about, so what we are, we are options traders or we are futures traders or we are stocks traders. It makes a completely different if you're speaking about positive gamma and negative gamma based on options, because there is a different calculation if we be in different areas. But for us, if we're trading futures, if we're trading stocks, the positive and negative gamma, they can giving us maybe an idea, but what we are doing now is, Fabio, correct me if we're wrong, but at the end, we're giving uh, open interest correctly. Uh, we uh, calculate this at the, today. We calculate today at the end of the day for tomorrow, correct? Yeah, it's not just open interest, but yeah, open interest is one of the measures that we look into. Yeah. Okay, perfect. But think about, so now we have some earnings. We have maybe Tesla earnings, and then we will open 2 or 3% higher in the NQ. So... If it's now positive gamma, is this now negative gamma? For us as a futures traders, it make not a big difference. So please be, be very careful if you be only in futures trader or if you be only in stock trader, you can use the word negative and positive, but look always to the chart and, and see what the chart is telling you. And don't looking into the num to the wording negative and positive don't get triggered from positive and negative if you get triggered from positive and negative look in the data behind what the data was telling you when there was the calculation and not if you now open the chart and we are now two percent up or i don't know two percent down or something like this so it's a big difference i think mm -hmm.